Well, welcome. I'm Dr. Patricia Laverne McQueen, and this is my co-host, Angie, Minister Angie. And we're back once again with a sermon in song. And we're so happy that you joined us tonight. The topic of our discussion tonight is prayer works. Ah, I'm a witness. I'm a it witness. It works. <laughs> oh, but yes. the question is, why is it that there's so many people whose prayers have not been answered? Well, we're going to try to answer that question tonight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, because there is a reason. Now, we, we have several scriptures that we want to discuss with you regarding prayer. And I want to start with the first one. In 1 John 5, 15 and 16 states, this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. You see, I, we have to believe God's word. We have to have confidence in God's word. Amen. Yes. And I can think of another scripture, Isaiah 55, yes, 11. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, this is a promise of God. Mm. He said, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. Absolutely. It will not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing that I sent it. Yes, this is a promise that uh, if he said, if he, if he said he will do something, if he said he will heal you, then he will heal you. If he said that he will provide for you, he will provide for you. Absolutely. If you, he says there are, there, he's going to make sure that we're safe, that he will cover us with his wings, that's what he's going to do. But we know that so many people that are not taking advantage of that, that have not taken that, or they don't believe it. That's they it. They just don't believe this That's word. the key. You have to believe. Amen. You got to have faith. In Mark eleven twenty four, 24, it says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe. Once again, believe. Dr. McQueen, that you have received it and it will be yours. That's right. Absolutely. But now we're, gonna, we're, we're going to answer that question, why is it that so many people's prayers are not answered? And we're going to use scriptures to back it up. But before we do that, I want to just say something about the program and who we are. Uh, God has given me the opportunity as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and as a singer to combine the word of God with music in a unique way to inspire you, to build you up, to teach you how to walk in the fullness Absolutely. of God. Mm -hmm. So the words I speak and the music I sing are part of a vision in these last days, and these are the last days. Absolutely. And also I want to say that Minister Angie is also a singer. She's an accomplished singer, and she has a project which will be out soon, and she's going to be singing some of those, those songs Amen. on this show. Amen. And we will let you know in, uh, when it is finished. It's just about finished, and I, as I hope that in, in at least another month that she will be singing her songs on this show also. Now, you can find these songs, and you'll be able to find her song also, uh, online at Amazon.com or CD Baby or iTunes. Absolutely. All of these songs are there. Just look for the album. You can look for my name. Uh, it's called It's All About Love. That's mm -hmm. one of the albums. And the songs that I'm singing tonight are on another, a different album called I Have Found Him. Amen. So look for my name, Patricia Laverne McQueen and you will be able to get some, you'll be able to download these songs. Amen? Amen. 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 So let's amen. get back to, back to the question. Why are so many prayers not answered? Absolutely. Angie. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, 
as you mentioned earlier, there are certain conditions uh, or uh, for prayers not being answered. Mm -hmm. And one of the scriptures that comes to mind is the First Peter 3.10. For let him who means to love life and see good days refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking guile. And let him turn away from evil and do good. Mm -hmm. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears attend to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do what? Who do evil. Who do evil. You know that word guile. Mm. I've been thinking about that word lately, and guile is deception. Mm -hmm. And we have so many people who walk around pretending that they are you know, something that they're not. All that? That they, 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 ha they have a front that okay. they're trying to present. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's guile. It's deception. It's in your heart. Mm. And it's not the real you. It's like fake it till you make it mm, attitude. Right, right, I remember right. people used mm -hmm. to say that all the time. Well, fake it till you make it. Well, you can't do that anymore. That's it's time right. out for all that. That's right. The real now Christian. people want to know who the real Christian Absolutely. is. Absolutely. They need to know who the real Christian That's is. That's it. They need you to be who you yeah. are. They need you to be transparent. Absolutely. How are you going to help anybody or be an inspiration to anybody if you have, if you're not uh, transparent. If they can't, parent, if they can't see that you've been through something, that's it. Come and on. look how far the Lord has brought that's you. That's right. Then you, you, you know, you, you. That's deception. That's right. In and your it, heart. And if you don't know who you are, yeah. Oh, especially out here now, you'll be thrown yeah, to and fro, back and forth, back and forth. Absolutely. Yes. I, I, I let's look at um, Isaiah fifty nine, mm -hmm. verse one and two. Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that he cannot save, mm. he can save you. His ears are not so dull that he can't hear That's you. That's right. But your iniquities have made a separation between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you. You see, he can't even look on sin. Mm. You, he, he's, he's looking at your heart. He's looking at the real you on the inside. He's looking at your spirit. You can't fool God. He, can, he sees you better than you see yourself. So you, if you have any spot or blemish there, if there's anything there in your heart, he's going to turn his head away, and he will not hear you. What, is, what does Psalm 66, 18 say? If I regard yes. iniquity in, in my, my heart, heart or absolutely. sin in my heart, yeah. he said the Lord will not hear me. That's right. That's right. And that is one reason why so many prayers are not answered. Uh, I, I saw James 4 and 3. What does that say? James 4 and 3. You ask and receive not because you ask amiss, that you may consume it upon your lusts. In other words, your, your motives are not right. You have to have a good motive uh, uh, in order to um, have your prayers answered. Uh, we are you, talking you, about the condition of your heart. Mm -hmm. If you regard iniquity in your heart, iniquity is sin. And what is sin, Pat? Uh, well, Dr. McQueen, I'm sorry. Sin is, is a deliberate action, attitude, or thought mm. that goes against God. Mm. Uh, you may think of sin as some obvious act. Right, right, right. And sometimes you can go against God and you don't even realize it. You may sin and not realize that you sin, but there's still, you still have to pay for it. You can go to a stop sign and you may not see it. And if you go through it the, and the police is there, he's going to give you a ticket whether you, you saw ticket. it or not. That's right. So you can sin, but there's still consequences, consequences to sin. Why? Because there are laws in place yes, in the that, universe. And you have to obey the and laws. And there, there's a consequence That's right. to anything that you do. But although, you know, there are obvious sins like murder and and uh, adultery and theft and things like that. But there are more subtle sins, mm. like uh, pride. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's one of the things God hates is yes, pride. pride. And there's a lot of people walking around in pride. Mm. They think that they want to be better than other people. They want to lord it over somebody and else. And what does the word say about pride? It, it, it says pride goes before a before fall. Before a fall. It also says that 
Contention. Contention. Absolutely. Contention. What is that? Is that um, a Proverbs 13, 10, 13? I believe so. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But contention go, uh, is the only, is only thing that's caused from pride. Yes, yes. Pride is caused, is the cause of contentious. You see people walking around with a contentious, contentious attitude, like they're ready to jump down your throat. And maybe they do. Mm -hmm. you know, they have a scowl on their face all the time. They look like they're mad all the time. That comes from pride. Yes. Pride. Yes. Get rid of that pride. It, it, it's not about you. That's right. It's about God. That's it. That's the key. It's and, not and, about and, you. And sometimes pride, envy, worry. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. another one. What are you worried about? If you worry, why pray? If you're going to pray, then don't worry. Mm. You have to trust God. Trust him that he, his word said it will not turn me void. void. To him void. Amen. It Amen. will not return void. Mm. And sometimes you can commit sins overtly, but sometimes it's a, a sin of omission. Mm -hmm. You forget. You leave it out. You leave some things out you're supposed to say. You know, you told that lie. You can lie by by just not saying some things. Right. Or you can lie uh, uh, by saying some things. You know, we talked about the, the six thing that God hates. hates. You, touched, touched, you touched on a couple yeah, of them, too. Yeah, what um, you Proverbs have, 16, 6, pro 16. Six, um, 6, 16 through 19, actually. Um, a proud look, a lying tongue, the hands that shed innocent blood. Mm-hmm. Uh, a heart that deviseth uh, wicked imaginations, all those things that you got going on in your, in your heart, uh, God hates that. Feet that be swift in running to mischief. Mm -hmm. huh? That reminds me of somebody, uh, a, a gossiper. Yeah, there you go. You there know, you go. You some, you're on the phone with somebody and well, they tell you something and you can't wait. You can't wait to you're call. You're swift. <laughs> swift to run and go tell. That's good. To That's get good. into mischief. Absolutely. And in that that uh, uh, a, a false witness that speaks yes. th that speaks lies, and he who sows discord among brethren. Oh, oh that's a big thing. Oh in my the gosh! Church. Not even in the church, in the, in the world too. But to <laughs> sow discord, <laughs> absolutely. You grumbling, you complaining, you oh my you got to go to somebody and, and you want to get them on your side that's to right. help you w with your cause because you're mad at somebody. You're sowing discord. Absolutely. God hates that. Yeah, absolutely. You need to, to stop that. Mm. In you the families. Jobs. Yeah. Families, jobs. Pray. Mm -hmm. Men ought to always pray. You can pray over a situation. Mm. I remember I was at work and, and uh, this young lady uh, uh, was really hostile towards me. Mm. You know, she, she, I don't know what her problem was, but you know, I went home and I prayed. That's it. That's it. And when I came back the next day, she was so nice. Mm. I, oh, she was just so extra nice. So you can pray over that situation. Absolutely. And God will take care of it. And, and, and praying in your heavenly language, I just wanted to mention that. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about yes. that right now, but when you pray in your heavenly lang language, the Bible tells us we don't always know what to pray for. But mm -hmm. once you develop that heavenly language, um, you actually have that direct connection with the Father, the Holy Spirit. And so um, that, that's another way that we are to pray. And you just thought, thought of something a minute ago. Mm -hmm. um, I've always had a place to go in my home to pray. Mm -hmm. Right. If somebody is, if my husband or anybody that's out of control, if you would, um, because it takes two to argue. Mm -hmm. I go in my place of prayer. When I come out, it's changed. I'm telling you, prayer it works. works it works it works it works hmm. I was so sick uh, last week mm. uh, and I don't know what why I, I mean I ate something I know that I ate something mm. and I was just throwing up and sick yeah I mean, mm -hmm. and I started praying mm. and I said Lord I'm usually the one telling people hmm about being sick and praying. And, and he said, well, what do you tell them? Mm. So then I started speaking those scriptures over myself, uh. over my life, over the, that thing that was trying to attack me. And immediately, I'm saying immediately, and I'm sitting here before the Lord and everybody else, immediately 
it went away. Absolutely. I wasn't sick anymore. I could walk. I wasn't throwing up. I wasn't queasy. I didn't have a headache. I was healed immediately. Absolutely. You know, but why doesn't that happen in your life, you wonder? Well, what did we just get through saying? It says that, that you know, because of sin, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because your heart is not yeah, right. right. You've got to have your heart has That's to be right. right. You get it. You've got to pray, first of all, if there's something you know you've done, repent. That's it. Pray and ask the Lord to forgive, forgive you. you. Yes, indeed. Call somebody up and ask them to forgive you. Mm. Maybe you have forgiveness in your, unforgiveness in your heart. Maybe you, somebody did something that, and you, and you have unforgiveness. Mm. Well, that'll stop your prayer right there. That's right. It's a scripture regarding that as well. That will stop your prayer. Mm -hmm. Husbands, not treating your wife right. That's it. The Bible, what does the Bible say? Your prayer is not going not any anyway. further than the ceiling. That's it. Because you need to pre treat your wife right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So God is not mocked. He's not, it's not that he doesn't want to answer your prayer. But he, he will. That's right. He's a prayer answering prayer God. Prayer answer. But, but now, if your heart is right, mm -hmm. come on, then your prayer should be based on the word of God. Right. Uh, and, and with faith, um, the faith in his promise, his divine promise. Okay. 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 Yes. Uh, and, and, and knowing these things, that, that confidence that we've talked about. Yeah. All right. Well, we're running out of time, and I certainly hope that you uh, got something out of this. Amen. We're saying don't worry about anything. Amen. Pray about everything. Everything. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing one more song. Amen. It's it's called Leave Everything in His Hands. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, apropos. <laughs> <laughs> Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now when trouble comes to you, and you don't know what to do Have patience, God understands And leave everything in His hands Well, He, He knows what you need And He will give it to you, wait and see Everything 
that if you have not made Jesus the Lord of your life, Amen. you need to do that Amen. right now. So let's repeat this prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner. I have not received Jesus, but now yes. I'm asking you, Lord, to come into my life yes. and be the Lord of my life. I believe right now that Jesus died for my sins and you raised him again for my justification. And so I'm asking you, Jesus, to forgive me and come into my heart. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. I pray. And we'll see you on the next show. Amen. 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 God bless God you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the wisdom of the world.